I went out and visited Calais about four or five weeks ago um, with a view to having a look and seeing what needed to be done. I was there for about four days, felt like a year, um, and wanted to know how best we can help to come back to get that organised. That's starting to happen now. Um, as has been described, there's been a fantastic mobilisation across the country and donations have been coming in thick and fast. The donation uh, point is now closed, I'm afraid, we're full. Um, and part of the reason for that is because of the situation out there right now, which is desperate. One of the big uh, charities has been in and assessed the situation as being one of the worst refugee camps they've come across. Um, things like five standing pipes for water, 30 toilets between 4,000 people. It's really, really dire, really dire. So what we're needing at the moment um, is your money. Please have a look at that behind, I've, I've posted up. If you could just spare a little cash, that's literally going to be going out with us. Um, what I'm doing is I've organised accommodation for 100 volunteers starting from around now and throughout October. The end of this week, this weekend, we're doing a big clean operation. The uh, waste management situation out there is terrible. Rotting potatoes lying around all over the place where a misguided donation of 10 tonne was delivered all at once. They haven't got the means to be able to cook them, so now there's piles of rotten potatoes everywhere, clothes, piles of bras, piles of stilettos, but it's okay because they burn all right. Um, so yeah, it's pretty dire. If you can imagine the situation, we've got about 500 people organising collections in this country. We've got about 50 on the ground out there that are sorting them in the um, donation facilities that they've got, and about 10 handing them out. So what we need more than anything else is people. They need people on the ground, which is what I found when I went on there, out there, and so have organised this accommodation. We're in the local youth hostel. We've got a really good discount. And the idea is there's no leaders. This is just individual people coming together with a space to coordinate themselves and to actually make a difference. Roll your sleeves up, plenty of patience, and get stuck in. Um, so, yes, there's the big clean operation that starts this weekend. We're going to need people throughout, and then there's the big move right at the end. There's uh, somewhere called Secure de Catholic, that's the church hall, um, where they're taking all the donations. That's now up to the ceiling. They've got a handful of elderly volunteers that organise that, and they've been told they've got to vacate by the end of October. So they're going to need everybody that they can over there to help with that move too. So please do have a look up there. I should say the shelter situation is desperate. Again, the tents apparently, um, the woman that I went out with is on her fifth trip already today. Um, and the tents are now overlapping. They're seriously flooded out again. Every time a tent gets flooded, everything in it needs to be changed. Uh, so what we need are decent shelters. It costs about 70 pounds for a wooden structure that's coated with sheet plastic the materials and to pay one of the people who lives on site to build it, which means that person will eat three meals, hot meals that day, instead of the one that they're lucky they might get after they've queued for six hours every day. Um, it's really, really desperate. So um, we are raising funds. The money that goes into that will literally be going out with me and I will be on the ground to see who needs the shelter, who needs the sleeping bag, who it is that needs the things. It will get directly to the people that we're trying to help. Um, and there is also a Facebook page up on the back there. If anybody's interested in getting involved or would like to come over to volunteer, please, we need people. Um, feel free to come and see me afterwards. Okay, thank you.